FM. Yours truly, Dr. Jason Batson, the Senior Medical Director at Batson and Associates. And today, of course, Thursday, we're discussing health, health from a natural and integrated perspective. Uh, of course, I have joined with me one of our senior consultants, Mr. Rene Bastamante. How are you doing, sir? I am great today. I am very happy to be in the audience from the program today. Okay, good, good, good. So, Mr. Bastamante, of course, uh, as a senior blood microscopist at Batson and Associates, uh, you know, we are faced with daily challenges as it relates to the clients that we deal with. You know, we deal with a number of issues, diabetes, hypertension, cardiovascular issues. We found within recent time, of course, um, we have a lot of individuals suffering from thyroid. Correct. So those are some of the things we are going to discuss today. Of course, um, to the listeners of Freedom 106.5, keep in mind that the program is interactive. So your um, questions are welcome. And of course, in a little bit, I'll allow to this to give you those telephone numbers. Firstly, of course, our contact number, uh, head office is 222, that's 222 Again, 222 And that office is located on the first floor of Money Talks building in Montreux, Shogonas. Uh, and of course, you can call any of those numbers for any of the other offices. Third base, sir, just um, remind them of the contacts on your side there, yeah? and we'll go forward. Six two seven three two two three. Of course, six two five two two five seven. WhatsApp messages on eight three zero six one zero six five. Nice. So uh, keep in mind too, as well, we are live on our social media platforms. We are Batson and Associates Limited on Facebook. On Instagram, we are Batson and Associates TT. And on YouTube, we are Batson and Associates Trinidad. Instagram is Batson and Associates. So of course, you could um, check us out there, add us, follow us, tag a friend. Keep in mind, of course, our special health symposium and health lecture that we are having on the 28th, that's Saturday, the 28th of October, and that is going to be taking place at our DB location, that office located on the corner of Ramsey Mood Trace and the SS Erin Main Road, uh, DB. And the telephone number for that particular office is 223-7515. Again, that's 223-7515. So, of course, we're discussing health, as I said. And for those of you who may be listening or joining us for the first time, you might want to know, okay, who is Batson and Associates? Who is Dr. Batson? What do these people do? What do they stand for? Uh, basically, Batson and Associates is an organization of trained consultants. Medical consultants is what in what is known as natural and integrated medicine. And with natural and integrated medicine, and I allow Mr. Bastamanti to expand a little bit here, we primarily look at the root cause of the problem. Now, when I say that, uh, quickest example would be, of course, high blood pressure. That's the easiest example you could use in the sense that you could have 10 persons who are hypertensive, but they all have 10 different reasons why they have hypertension. So their high blood pressure is primarily secondary hypertension, whereas there's actually a primary reason or a primary origin for the hypertension. Example, constipation, for example, you might have infrequent bowel movement. You may not empty your bowels at least once for the day or twice for the day. Some persons, maybe a week might pass and you might not have a good bowel movement. Some persons, you might go two, three times for the week. So it might be every other day, every two days. That in itself could actually cause constipation. You might have insomnia, so you're not sleeping properly. You may have problems falling asleep, remaining asleep. That could also cause hypertension. You could have hormonal imbalance, for example, problem with your thyroid. So you might have an overactive thyroid. And as a result of that, you have hypertension. So we have had just three different reasons why we ended up with the same symptomology, which is high blood pressure. So that's fundamentally what natural and integrated medicine really is. It's a matter of not necessarily dealing with your symptomology, which in this particular case is secondary hypertension, but really addressing the primary or the root cause of the problem. Okay. Now, one of the things we use to do that at Batson and Associates, Mr. Bastamante, is blood analysis. Yes. So from your perspective, quickly, as a consultant, if you were were to encourage someone to come and do a blood analysis, what would you say to them to, to encourage them to do that? What advantages are there in doing that? Okay, very good. So one thing we want to take into consideration when we're doing our live and dry blood analysis is we don't eat two hours before actually having it being done. Good, excellent. So generally speaking, what the blood analysis will show you is it will actually show you the movement of your blood cells. It will all. It will also show you 
your immune system. So it will show you the degree actually the immune system, whether it's isonophils, whether it's neutrophils, isophils, all sorts of white <coughs> blood cells. How it's gathered around within the sample. Mm -hmm. Naturally speaking, we can tell a, a lot of different factors of the blood by naturally looking at the red blood cells. Good. So by the movement of the red blood cells, if the shape is quite irregular, mm -hmm. all these sort of things will give us a clear-cut understanding of where we need to go forward with actually analyzing the live blood. Now, the dry blood will give us a better look and better understanding directly into how much infl inflammation Good. and inflammatory response is Good. in the body, right. as well as deterioration done onto the blood. So we live our life day to day and lifestyle habits get the best of us, but we don't know about how much our blood is being naturally deteriorated by environmental patterns. So this is very important for us to do the live and dry blood analysis to show us a good concept of how our overall body is going right now. Good, excellent. So in, in that, so to expand on that, uh, to basically let me know if we have um, a question, right, sir? Um, yes. Okay, good. So, okay, so one of the things that you see in blood analysis, because I mean, I am a trained blood microscopist for yes. over 14 years now. I mean, I don't do blood as much as I used to. Um, you guys help me out with that now. So the thing is, one of the things I know that we're actually able to see from a blood analysis is organ stress. Organ stress. Right. Okay. So one of the major organs of detoxification, you have seven channels of elimination in the body, right? Mm -hmm. We have kidney, colon, bloodstream, liver, lymphatic system, skin, and your lungs. Your lungs. Now, liver stress is something that you see a lot of in a blood analysis correct now they, we know the shape of your red blood cells are supposed to be primarily red i'm not red sorry i'm um, shape in terms of concave wrong yes. um sometimes these blood cells actually look like sort of uh, like leaves or yes. it's like droplets so like there's droplets. a tip at it mm -hmm. at the end of it and when we see the blood looking like that we know of course that is an indication of high levels of liver stress of liver stress correct what we realize now and of course to the listeners of freedom 106.5 fm is that a lot of persons now are actually being told that they have fatty liver correct now fatty liver is actually a serious cause for concern because it is an indication of liver or organ stress particularly in the body primarily liver digestive stress in the body mm -hmm. and the blood analysis shows us this so for example if we have a client who comes to us who's diabetic mm -hmm. and of course we do do an integrative diabetic clinic those of you who may be diabetic and you are on insulin and you want to decrease your dependence of ins on insulin you want to improve your blood sugar readings you want to improve improve your circulation you want to improve your eyesight um, in case you're a male and you may have diabetes and you might be experiencing some problems with erectile dysfunction, we also do that as well in that entire integrative diabetic protocol. So that being said, you, you have to take into consideration that with the blood analysis, we, we are given pertinent information to really assist in correcting your situation. Because when you see that level of organ stress, anyone who has a fatty liver, your liver does not function properly. It means your likelihood of developing high cholesterol and having high triglycerides is seriously or considerably higher than someone who doesn't have a fatty liver. We even see clients with a fatty liver, it affects their sleep. But it affects exactly. affect, affect how, how they, their mental capacity, how they function Correct. in forms of concentration, mm -hmm. mental awareness, all these sort of things. Because the liver being fatty, what usually happens is that the body self-intoxifies itself. Mm -hmm. Because the liver pulls out a lot of toxins. Lot of toxins. So the toxins right. then goes back into the blood during nap time, sleep time, in the night. Right. And when we wake up, these toxins actually expose themselves and make themselves apparent in our everyday life. So that affect our mental our mental function. It's to affect the way how we sleep in, right. all these sort of things very greatly. Okay, good. Excellent. So let me just expand on that a bit. So for example, uh, as you so men, uh, rightfully mentioned, there's something known as auto intoxication. Auto is self intoxication is poison, right? Correct. So, as you again rightfully said, when you have these inflammatory chemicals, there's something known as inflammation, and you have inflammatory chemicals. Mm -hmm. Things like prostaglandin, cytokines is an example of two, mm -hmm. and that is of course for persons who have problems with visceral fat, organ fat. Exactly. So, one of the things that we actually see with the blood analysis is the presence of those toxins 
Mm -hmm. which could now be responsible for a number of things. Headaches, Headaches. lethargicness, excess tiredness, problems sleeping. We have a lot of persons now um, experiencing mental issues associated with depression, anxiety. Correct, correct. Uh, so in a case like that, I always tell persons, if your liver is not functioning properly, then you are a perfect candidate for a mental health clinic exactly. because of what the liver does as it relates in relation to the nerves mm -hmm. and one central nervous system and that type of thing. Exactly. So, of course, you can feel free to give us a call or visit. Keep in mind those locations and telephone numbers. We are located on the first floor of Money Talks Building. That's Money Talks Building in Montreux, Shogonas. That telephone number is triple two 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 eight two six one. 261 The other number is the DBA branch, which is 223-7515. The St. James number is 220-8113. And Tobago is 226-4553. Excellent. Of course, keep in mind we are live on our social media platforms. We are Batson and Associates Limited on Facebook. On Instagram, we are Batson and Associates TT. On YouTube, we are Batson and Associates Trinidad. And on TikTok, it's Batson and Associates. We are live on Freedom 106.5 FM. Of course, third base, you can remind them of uh, the numbers for questions or if we have any questions as yet. Yeah, we do have a question here. How can you now be managed by A1C? Good. Excellent. Okay. So the, um, the A1C basically is your diabetic reading or average of your blood sugar reading over a uh, three-month period, 90 days, right? So your A1C, ideally, we, we would like anywhere in the vicinity of like maybe about any, if you're four point something, five, we, we don't like it to pass six because anytime you start to pass six, you are now in the range of what we call pre-diabetic. So it means someone with uh, an A1C in excess of six, in excess of 6.5, seven is primarily diabetic right um could we correct that yes we can could we improve your diabetic situation of course we can um most persons who are diabetic end up with a number of complications associated with diabetes for example primarily poor circulation because we know diabetes is very oxidative is very inflammatory they also end up with neuropathy which is when the tips of your fingers or the nerve endings actually become damaged right. that could actually be reversed um, once it's a non-surgical um, damage, for want of a better expression, because if nerves are cut, well, then there's a completely different thing. To fix them is virtually impossible. But nerves that have not been cut or surgically interfered with, burnt or anything like that, we do have a problem. So it means someone who has a neuropathy situation, pins and needles, cramping in your cars, burning on their feet. You feel like if ants walking on your junju feeling, however you want to put it is an issue where you have a neuropathy situation where your nerves are beginning to deteriorate could we correct that yes we can uh in addition to that as well with the blood analysis and the magnetic resonance analysis which is something regardless of the test results that you bring for us so whether you bring ct scan mri um ultrasound different types of blood tests cbc kidney profile liver regardless no problem mm -hmm. we welcome all but that blood analysis is very important to be done because as I was saying, it gives us the opportunity to tell the entire story as regards to you mm -hmm. and in terms of now correcting that particular situation. So that's very, very important. So that telephone number quickly again. So the telephone number for the Shogwana's branch is 222-8261. That is 222-8261. The Debe branch is 223-7515. The St. James branch is 220 8113 and the Tobacco branch is 226-4553. Excellent. Uh, to this, any more questions on your side? I have a question. I have a question on writers in both knees. I'm going to say I'm get a sharp pain. My left knee will buckle. Some guys are may fall. Fall. Myself. Is there anything that can help? Uh, yeah, definitely. The thing is, when you're looking at osteoarthritis, osteoarthritis is a form, it's basically an inflammatory muscular skeletal disease so the disease affects the muscular skeletal system i.e bones and ten tendons ligaments those type of things so it means now you actually have a situation where the, the 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 density of the bones is much less because your bones are comprised of calcium magnesium and phosphorus in the form of calcium phosphate but in order to neutralize that acid you need a base or alkaline and calcium is the base that your body uses to neutralize acidic situations so what you have is because of that excess amount of acid and high inflammation your bones would have been weakened and the osteocytes which are cells in your bones because your bones are actually comprised 
of different types of cells, osteocytes and different ones that make up your long bone, short bones, your axial um, skeleton. So the thing is, we need to now put back that cartilage, put back that synovial fluid. Because people say that if you lose cartilage and you lose synovial fluid in your knees, then you can't get it back. That, yeah, that is, of course, woefully incorrect. Mm. The problem is you have to now correct the inflammation system um, or the inflammatory response in the body. Uh, there's a product we carry at Batson and Associates called Inflammation Formula. Very and important. that product was specific, specifically designed to deal with levels of inflammation. Now, if you want to know how your inflammation is your body, there is a test that you do called an ESR. It's an acronym for Erythrocyte Sedimentation Ratio, right? So the thing is, when they do that test, your ESR is supposed to be anywhere between zero. Some labs say 15, some say 20. If you in excess of 20, it means that the inflammation in your body is much higher than it's supposed to be. So in other words, layman terms, the higher the inflammation in your body, the sicker you are. Correct. So much so that if your ESR is over 100, the likelihood of you having any form of cancer or getting cancer is significantly increased by about 85%. Correct. So that's just to tell you how inflammation is a detrimental factor. Now, inflammation is normal enough. The problem is when inflammation becomes excessive. excessive. So women who have problems with polycystic ovaries, fibroids, ovarian cysts, what do you think you have? That's inflammation in your ovaries, inflammation in your uterus, inflammation in the cervix. Women who have problems, you always have a UTI, so a urinary tract infection. Every minute. You're not, you're not doing anything out of the ordinary. You're behaving good, but you always have a UTI. It is because you have inflammatory response where kidney, bladder, urinary tract. Arthritis. Arthritis is inflammation in your bones. So depending on the part of the bones that you have the inflammation, they're going to tell you you have arthritis. So you have you can get arthritis in your back, in your lumbar spine. So either L1 to L5, you could get it in your thoracic spine. So T1 to T12 or your cervical spine, which is C, C1 to C7. So any part of the spinal, co spinal column, sorry, especially even the coxy, which is the bone they call your bottom bone, which is the bone, the, the, those three um, subsequent or after um, L5, mm -hmm. anywhere there. That's why people, so many people have problems with sciatica. So when you have herniation of the disc, the disc has to begin to press on each other because a normal functioning spine would have cushioning in between the disc, right? When you have herniation, which means the disc actually pressing, it is now going to press and interfere with a nerve and once it's interrupting the nerve it's going to interrupt the blood flow remember blood is responsible for transporting oxygen and nutrients to that entire aspect of the body so because of that situation now which started off with acid you now have arthritis and that is what we do at batston associates in the sense that you have to correct the situation and then maintain a particular diet for a period of time because you can't reduce inflammation by the protocol, cleansing, you're drinking water, whatever the case may be, and then you're going back and eat food that have inflammation in it, sugar, coffee, you know, that don't make any sense. You're spinning top in mud. So it's just a matter of understanding that inflammation is the root cause of all disease, but it depends on where the inflammation is and the concentration in which the inflammation is at. And that is where the blood analysis comes in because that is the only thing that gives you basically a pictographic, for want of a better expression, um, opportunity to determine the level of inflammation and of course could even gauge the improvements apart from things like CT scans, MRIs, whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. So again, those of you who may have any challenge, whether it's muscular skeletal, so if you have problems with arthritis, women, problems with polycystic ovaries, fibroids, ovarian cysts, endometriosis, feel free of course to give us a call. Keep in mind our open lecture series that we're having, uh, beginning uh, with our daily office, which is Saturday the 28th of October at the daily office. Of course, we'll have others at the different locations, but this one is taking place on Saturday, the 28th of October at the daily office. That telephone number again for daily is 223-7515. That's 223-7515. St. James, you're going to get yours shortly, but we'll tell you all exactly when. And of course, keep in mind again that telephone number for Shogonas, 222-8261. Third base, sir, anything on your side as yet? No, so that's okay. Dr. Watson, mm -hmm. one Quite. question I see, uh, Lisa sent to you on the topic of inflammation. Mm -hmm. Is vitiligo caused by high inflammation? Okay. Uh, yes, it is. Mm -hmm. uh, primarily, um, 
you have vertiligo, which is uh, in this case, this is the skin condition. This condition yes. And then you have vertigo, which we know is the dizziness situation. Yes. So vertiligo is where people have uh, almost like what they call hyperpigmentation, yes. where you actually see like your the, the your, you actually see as if it is you are getting no sort of melanin in the skin again, mm -hmm. and the skin is actually looking very white or what we call hyperpigmentation. Correct. That is usually an indication of inflammatory response in what is referred to as the integumentary system, the which is the skin and its appendages. So skin, which would be a dermis, epidermis, that kind of thing, um, nails, hair, all those make up part of the integumentary system. So vertiligo is an imbalance in that particular system. One of the things that they have actually found with people with that condition is that they have a lot of, one, they have malabsorption, so their food does not digest properly. Correct. And they also have serious micro and macronutrient in um, deficiency. deficiencies. Yeah. So a lot of deficiency in manganese, magnesium, boron, mm -hmm. um, potassium, um, even um, imbalances in things like uh, selenium, zinc, Mm -hmm. um men even men who end up with prostate problems when they are uh, the, the, a lot of research shows that zinc deficiency and selenium, selenium. deficiency in men affects you greatly affects you greatly to the point of actually increasing your likelihood of actually developing prostate cancer mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. prostatitis which is infection of the prostate and that type of thing okay so that's um that's with that um answer there um someone is asking about uh vertigo so we'll just do that quickly but before we do that again keep in mind you can like us share us tag us uh add a friend and those um handles again on facebook we are batson and associates limited on facebook on instagram we are batson and associates tt on youtube we are batson and associates trinidad and on TikTok, it's Batson and Associates. You're listening to Dr. Jason Batson, the Senior Medical Director at Batson and Associates. And I'm, of course, joined with one of our senior consultants and blood microscopist, Mr. Rene Bastamante. We're discussing health this afternoon. Uh, we have a question from Ms. Betty Williams. And she said, can you please explain vertigo? Please. Um, Vertigo primarily has to do with a lack of blood flow to the cerebral hemisphere. Correct. And I know, Mr. Bastamante, you have a lot of experience with this, so I yes. just allow you to yes. expand. So generally speaking, when you get poor, poor circulation to your cerebrovascular hemisphere, what happens is that the balance in the ears tends to become disrupted, thus causing when you wake up or, or whenever you have a... a um, food high on sugar or okay. high glycemic diet, it will greatly affect your vertigo and it will you will definitely start to feel dizzy quite often okay good uh you know one of the things to uh at batson and associates we do something known as the magnetic resonance analysis scan right now <coughs> excuse me one of the things with that scan is that we actually look at something known as status of brain tissue blood supply mm -hmm. so that's just a big term to mean the amount of blood going to your brain recently we realized in the medical community we have an explosion of neurological diseases so okay. we have a lot of persons with strokes so primarily ischemic strokes uh those of you listening when you're dealing with strokes you have two types of stroke primarily you have ischemic strokes hemorrhagic strokes ischemic strokes are strokes where you have an interruption of blood flow to the brain so that interruption of blood flow would cause an interruption of oxygen to a certain part of the brain which could now result in what is known as ischemia or an ischemic stroke you have hemorrhagic strokes which are bleeding strokes which are the worse than ischemic strokes but with hemorrhagic strokes you actually have a rupturing of blood vessels you also have something known as brain aneurysms which are then are becoming more and more prevalent yeah, especially now. With, poor circulation. with poor circulation we have a lot of persons with parkinson alzheimer's because all these diseases are what we call cerebrovascular diseases which are diseases or imbalances as a result of poor circulation in the brain um, glaucoma also falls in that category because if you have glaucoma, whether you have open angled or closed angled glaucoma, because you have primarily two types of glaucoma, which is actually or glaucoma rather, which is actually high ocular pressure, yes. that as well is an indication of poor cerebrovascular circulation. So if you are experiencing, and the thing is, your body speaks to you um, 106.5. The thing is, most of us either we need a translator, or we just don't listen. Uh, in the sense that if you have some severe problems with headaches, regardless of the type of headache, so you might go and get a diagnosis, they tell you you have cluster headaches or migraine headaches, and they put it in a fancy category for you. Mm -hmm. What you really have is a lack of blood flow to your brain. 
It could also be a certain a point of dehydration because we know how important hydration is, especially to circulation, cerebrovascular circulation. You have to remember that circulation in the body is like a tree. So a tree has a trunk, which is the larger blood vessels, which would be your artery. Then you have your branches, which is your veins. And then you have the smaller branches, which is your capillaries. So microcirculation is circulation in your capillaries. So that is the blood that we actually do the blood analysis with. Yes. We take it from the tip of your finger. The advantage with capillary blood as opposed to venous blood. I mean, I'm not saying that there is an advantage or disadvantage per se. But what it really gives us the opportunity to do is really examine that circulation at its root so people who may have problems with swelling ankles you find your foot you, you get up you went to sleep your foot was swell you get up in the morning your foot flat and nice looking your ankles looking cute some hours after your foot swell up big 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 and that is a consistent problem that you have that is something we deal with at batson and associates but what that is it is a clear clear sign of poor circulation very rare do you have swelling with kidney problems? I always tell people that. Mm -hmm. Kidney problems, no. Your kidney, if you are a hypertensive person, then you need to check out exactly what's going on with your kidney. Because mm -hmm. hyper, hypertension and renal failure basically lies hand in hand. Once you have a hypertension problem and you do not take care of yourself, you're heading somewhere down the road, you're going to have to deal with a nephrologist, mm -hmm. which means your kidney is going to start to go bad on you and somebody's going to tell you, you need to go on a dialysis machine, which is not good news to hear at all. So, you know, if it is you're serious, you're really serious and you're looking to correct some of these imbalances that you may have, then Batson and Associates is the place for you. So, again, that telephone number and location, keep in mind, we are live on our social media platforms. We are Batson and Associates Limited on Facebook. Mm -hmm. On Instagram, we are Batson and Associates TT. Let me say a pleasant good afternoon to Miss Jen Bree, Miss Betty Williams, Miss Pat Travers, and Ashton. Sorry, a pleasant good afternoon to you. And we also have a question on hypo thyroidism which is low thyroid function which i'll go to in a little while let me just go over to third base let him um remind the audience of the telephone number sir and then we'll continue you have a question here about somebody asking uh <coughs> okay blood pressure um quickly the thing is first thing you need to do if you have hypertension look at your water intake most hypertensive people do not drink enough water one two and we know the rule for drinking water is your body weight divided by two in ounces. So if for ease of maths, if you were 160 pounds, half hour 60 is 80. 80 in ounces will give us what about something like 1.75 or 2 liters. Okay. Somewhere around there. So on the good side, 2 liters of water for the day if you weigh 160 pounds. Now think of somebody who might be 250. <laughs> think of somebody who might be 300 pounds. And that is not me attempting to be facetious or anything like that. But a lot of persons do not drink the required amount of water. If you have problems with hypertension, look at your meat intake, especially your red meat. You need to cut down on that a bit because red meat has the tendency, because of its protein profile and its nitrogenous waste in digestion, to actually cause a lot of problems with high blood pressure as well. Barring that, once you make those two changes, there are specific products that we carry at Batson and Associates. Santulan is one which is a seven-channel detox that cleans and detoxify kidney, colon, bloodstream, liver, lymphatic system, skin, and your lungs. And you can also check out the alkagen water, that premium alkaline water that we carry as well. Um, Additionally, I was going to add one thing. In terms of circulation, stress is a major, major factor. We have a Good product point. known as Nerve Restore. So that a lot of you all who definitely like to worry a lot. A lot of stress. So they contain from all sorts of angles. Good point. Nerve Restore can be used as a brain adaptogen so it will help you to mm -hmm. feel a lot calm it will get you to have a lot better efficient sleep correct so overall that will help your circulation too greatly excellent thank you so very much for that again keep in mind that lecture at our debate office that's saturday the 28th of october and of course you can check out our website or our social media pages as regards to that uh miss uh, the question on hypothyroidism let me just address that quick what causes hypothyroidism uh, thyroid problems usually have to do with nutritional deficiency Correct. it's not only <clears throat> problems associated with iodine a lot of people believe well okay if your thyroid bad well then you have a iodine deficiency that's not the case because going and take iodine could actually put in more problems mm -hmm. so what of course you need to do again determine the root cause of the problem um internal toxins cause a lot of problems with your thyroid because the thyroid is a gland that uh, 
how could I put this? It, it, it collects waste very easily, Correct. especially with women who may be going through things like PMS, which is postmenopausal syndrome, because they find a lot of women who have postmenopausal syndrome where they experience things like high blood pressure, um, depression, bad, like bad, bad, horrible, horrible, horrible depression and anxiety. And God forbid they give you some sort of sleeping tablet to take for that because then you're in a position where you, you have zombie like you're, you're going to be in a state of affairs. Temporary, no problem, but you can't use that long term. That's going to really mess you up because it really ad ad alters your brain chemistry, which you don't really want. If it is you're not sleeping properly, there has to be a reason why you're not sleeping. Your body is not crazy and mad and do things for itself. You know? If something is wrong in the human body, your body is telling you that something is wrong. You might either be going by the wrong doctor who can't tell you what's wrong with you. But if you genuinely not feeling well, and doctors may do a barrage of tests because we have seen it on numerous occasions with people who came to us, they did MRI, CT scan and every possible blood test and they still couldn't tell them what was wrong with them. And they still couldn't sleep. The thing is, when they came to Dr. Um, to Batson and Associates and we did the blood analysis, I mean, do we, based on experience, we'll have a fair idea what is going on, but we just need to dot our I's and cross our T's, know your medication, your prescription, whatever the case may be, and we work with you accordingly. But the point is that root cause, that aspect associated with where the imbalance originated must be dealt with first. You notice I spoke about PMS, postmenopausal syndrome, and the reason I spoke about that is that you have a lot of women now I'll give you a quick example. There was this lady who came to us and she had problems with hypertension. This lady, she was like 65 years and the blood pressure, two years and counting. So two years now she had blood pressure when she came to us. So she was actually diagnosed with blood pressure at 63. Now what they realized is that the pressure was just going up, going up, going up, going up. And she was using medication. They had her on um, uh, enalpril, which was one in the morning, one in the evening. She was taking a tenanol, one in the morning, one in the evening. And she was also using a diuretic. Yet the pressure would always be one something, like 180 something, and the diastolic, which is your lower number, was like over 110, 120 sometimes. The whole long and short of the story is that when we did the blood analysis and we checked what we needed to check, I realized, together with the consultant, that the problem was really hormonal imbalance. Oh, sorry. And the person was really going through PMS. So a lot of persons, especially women and ladies, they need to pay very close attention to yourself because you alone feel like if you're going mad and nobody else understands you're feeling like you're going mad because they just feel you're miserable. And I'm not saying mad to use it facetiously or in a, you know, try to be condescending or anything like that. But it's just a matter for you to understand that something is genuinely wrong with you. Not because you don't know what it is, not because the doctor tells you that he or she don't know what's wrong with you or your family telling you, hey, something wrong with you but we ain't figure out what's wrong with you it means that something is genuinely wrong because pms is a hidden disease that affects a number of women and the major issue is anxiety depression and insomnia and ladies if you stay with those conditions long enough you are going to end up in a mental world there's no problem might be about it and it is a dangerous thing when it is so easy to be corrected but again you're looking for answers in the wrong places how much water are you drinking? How do you eat? Do you eat and drink simultaneously? What exactly are you doing? There is always a reason for something happening. So again, very quickly, that telephone number again. So the Shagwadas branch is 222-8261. That is 222-8261. The Debe branch is 223-7515. The St. James branch is 220-8113. And the Tobago branch is 226 4553. I see that. Um, okay, so before I take the, the comment, let me just go over to third base for him to remind the audience of the telephone number and if he has any questions. Third base, sir. There's a question here. How do you treat fatty liver? How do you treat fatty liver? Okay. Um, there are a number of things that you do, but definitely some aspect of detoxing the liver is going to be important. However, mm -hmm. not all liver detoxes, one, are created equal, and two, if you're doing a liver detox, you need to know what you're doing in the sense that you have to be properly hydrated when you're doing any detox. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. detoxing is a very good thing if it is done properly. But the problem is most people do not know how to detoxify themselves. And I say that without any apology. A lot of people out there tell you about detox and taking detox and they don't know what they are doing. In order for you to detox properly, you have to know a number of things. But your hydration is very important. You cannot be drinking water and go and take the people product. 
You will get breakout buttons will come out on your skin, boils will come out, you will get headaches, all sorts of things going to happen to your nausea, and then you will go and say the people product didn't work. It has nothing to do with the product. It is you. You have to know in order to take a detox, there are certain steps that you need to follow. Then age, certain things, you, you need to take certain things into consideration. And that is where Batson Associates comes in. For example, if you are anemic, so anemia is what? Low blood count, right? Now, there are a lot of people walking around who are anemic, but your CBC may read well enough or certain aspects of the CBC. But when you look at things like your platelets, your MCV, certain other aspects of the blood, you realize that you're wanting in those areas, which is an indication of some form of anemia. A lot of people do not know that you have many different types of anemia. So, for example, if you're anemic, i.e. low blood count, and you go and take a detox now, you could go and weaken yourself and end up in problems. Hence the reason why I said detoxing may be good, but if there is a particular protocol and a principle in doing it. And that is where people like Batson and Associates comes in, because that is that is our work. We know exactly, I can't be doing the work, I can't be doing this for 14 years and I know I'm doing I would not be here. So it's a matter of now understanding where you are and most importantly, where you need to be. Okay, um, any more questions, sir? Hello? Oh, nothing else yet. Okay, good. Right. Uh, so uh, let's go over to our social media. Keep in mind, as I said, we are live on Facebook. We are Batson and Associates Limited on Facebook. Let me say a pleasant good afternoon to Ms. Shirley Dorset, Ms. Kati Samaru, Ms. Annie Grant. Good afternoon to you, Ms. Karishma Ramdan, who is actually one of our blood microscopist consultants. Which office is she in today? She is, I believe, in the Shagwanas. Shagwanas branch. Okay, so good afternoon to you, Ms. Elizabeth Nandlal from South there. Pleasant good afternoon to you. We also have a question uh, as regards to the inflammation formula. Uh, someone is asking, can inflammation formula help with swelling in the knees? Uh, and yes, it, it can because it reduces inflammatory response. The thing is, keep in mind, if you have any form of arthritis, osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis. The thing with rheumatoid arthritis is actually the worst forms of arthritis to deal with. That is why it's so debilitating in the sense that it could actually cripple you. But what rheumatoid arthritis fundamentally is, is parasite in your bones. Now, let me explain that quickly. Pathogens are in five categories. So you have bacteria, virus, fungus, protozoa, or worms, Sorry. or intestinal worms, right? Those are the five categories of pathogens. COVID, for example, was a virus. So that falls in the category of a virus. Now, the thing is, candida, as biscans, which is yeast, mm -hmm. is a fungal infection. Now, a lot of people, and women experience this a lot, but men actually have yeast infection as well. But men don't know they have yeast infection, of course, because of our anatomy and physiology and how we designed it. The way women are designed, primarily, especially because of the bladder, urinary, that type of thing. You find women have a tendency to have a lot of problems with UTIs, which are urinary tract infections, as well as yeast infections. But yeast is something that is natural. The problem with persons who have yeast infections is that they actually have yeast overgrowth. Now, the problem with that is that if you're intimate, so if you're married, boyfriend, whatever it is you have, and you're intimate, if you're treating the female for yeast, you have to treat the male for yeast as well. Right. Yeast will be manifested in things like lota, dandruff, um, problems where you always find like your mouth always dry, you always have a funny problem with taste, yeah. um, your tongue seems to be coated, so you, you brush your teeth no matter what, and your teeth, not your teeth, sorry, your yeah. tongue right. looking very white or brown in some areas. In fact, your tongue is actually a representation of the lining of your yeah. intestines mm -hmm. or your gut. So if you have a real dirty, and again, this is not to be facetious or rude, but mm -hmm. observe yourself, brush your teeth good and go in a mirror and push out your tongue and watch it. If it is you're seeing lines, if you're seeing things looking like black patches, you're seeing it's very white or coated, mm -hmm. intestinal problems. Early signs of things like, because people who end up with um, inflammatory bowel conditions now. So if we go in things like IBS, Crohn's mm -hmm. disease, irritable bowel syndrome, um, diverticulitis, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. Those things didn't start off as that. Normally, they would start off as indigestion, bloating, flatulence, gas. Um, acid reflux is also a big one too, which is known as GERD, which is an acronym for gastro gastrointestinal reflux disease. Now, the thing is, when you get an attack of acid reflux, you feel like if it is again a heart attack, you know, like somebody taking a sledgehammer and ponging over <laughs> your chest 
and who tried to open your neck or something. That literally, that's how you just speak, right. right? And it's very painful. Usually, the doctors will do the test. They look for cardiac enzymes to make sure they never had attack, whatever the case may be. But the problem is acid reflux. And that's a big problem. So if you're having problems, you're, you're always burping. You have a lot of flatulence. You're always feeling bitter in your mouth, sour in your mouth. Watch yourself. That's your body telling you. Your food is not being assimilated or digested properly. And as a result of that, you're getting these sort of issues. Uh, so very quickly again, uh, those tell... Oh, go ahead, sir. <laughs> okay, yes. Yes, we do have eye optics formula we got, right? Um, in terms of cramps and swelling, primarily poor circulation is a big, big reason for that. Again, you will hear I go back to PMS, postmenopausal syndrome, because ladies, I tell you, there are a lot of things going on with you, and you're not looking for the answers in the right question. Let me explain something quickly. A lot of women believe that when they go through menopause, for some reason, like they feel it is die or something. And when I say that in the sense that they say, well, okay, I go through menopause, so I have nothing to do with hormones again. Once you are alive and you are breeding, your hormones are very important because hormones are chemical messengers that do just that. They give the body indication to do certain things, produce certain things, work along with certain things, TSH, T3, whatever the case may be, if you're dealing with your thyroid, the pituitary gland is your master gland, then you have your adrenals, men with things like testosterone and all those type of things. So the thing is, once you are alive, but especially as a female, your hormones need to be balanced. What a lot of women don't realize is that you go into menopause, your period stop and you're happy and everything. You might have a good transition. So your mm. menopause might be a good menopause. You mightn't have hot flashes and all those things. Some women have very, very horrible menopause. Um, either way, you need to mind your business because later down, you're going to end up with problems. You always, so hormonal balance or balancing on one's hormone is a very important thing. So as regards to that swelling situation and that cramping situation, a lot of the times it has to do with PMS, postmenopausal. So it's not, because when you're telling women about postmenopause, they think you're trying to call them older or something like that. And that is not the case because they think, well, you know, I passed that stage in my, no, no, you ain't passed that stage. Once you're alive, you have hormones. And if your hormones are not balanced, you are going to, you know, the old people have a saying, you eat the bread the devil need. There's all kind of madness going on happening to you. Your foot swelling, you're irritable, you don't want to talk to anybody, you have vaginal dryness, you don't want to see your husband, you don't want to talk to him, he can't touch you, and he, he, nothing, nothing going to take place because of that hormonal imbalance challenge. And until you correct that, you're going to be miserable for the rest of your life. And the thing is, medication is not going to help you because what, what they're going to give you, sleeping tablets or Revitrin, how long you will use that for? Your body is crying out for help and telling you something is wrong. Insomnia is not normal. Sleep should be one of the easiest things for a human being to do. If you cannot sleep, your nerves are wrecked. And if it continues like that, well, God help you, you're going to be in a lot, a lot, a lot of problems. So again, those telephone numbers, you can give us a call on 222861. That's the Triple Two Office. Yeah. It's Triple Two Eight Two Six One. The Day Bay Branch is 223 7515. The St. James Office is 220 8113. And the Tobago Branch is 226 4553. Good. Uh, keep in mind that uh, health symposium that we're having, that's at the Day Bay Office. That telephone number for Day Bay again, 223 7515. And that's taking place Saturday, the 28th of October at our DB office. So call because you need to actually get yourself listed for that. Keep in mind we are live on our social media platforms. We are Batson and Associates Limited on Facebook. On Instagram, we are Batson and Associates TT. On YouTube, we are Batson and Associates Trinidad. And on TikTok, it's Batson and Associates. You have been listening to Dr. Jason Batson, the Senior Medical Director at Batson and Associates where we support your health naturally. To the listeners of Freedom 106.5 FM, of course, always a pleasure to be in your company. Uh, third base, do we have any questions before we look to leave? Anything else? Okay. So again, keep in mind those uh, social media ha handles, Batson & Associates Limited on Facebook, on Instagram, Batson & Associates TT. And of course, that number for head office, Call, make your appointment, get your blood analysis done, find out exactly what is going on with you, and most importantly, how to correct it. If you're sick for years, you're just really not making any sense. And I say that with no apology. You cannot be sick for 20-something years. That's madness. Something wrong some way. The only people who do the same thing over and over 
expecting a different result. Albert, Albert Einstein said it best, that's the height of insanity. So as we always say at Baxter and Associates, if you think health is expensive, try sickness. If you think education is expensive, try ignorance. Again, uh, those telephone numbers quickly. Shagona's office is 222-8261. So that's the main branch. The Shagona's office is 222-8261 on the 28th of October. October, um, they be will be carrying on the symposium, and the number is 223-7515, St. James Branch, that's the Red Edge Mall, that is 220-8113, and the Tobago Branch, that is the, um, the Triangle Building, that is 226-4553. Thank you so very much. To the listeners of Freedom 106.5 FM, thank you for your time. Do enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Third base, sir, till next week, sir, take care of yourself. Thank you very much for the folks of the of the city associates right here on freedom 16.5 nice man so listeners of course uh we have our next program which we will be joining DJ Mamu and DJ Mamu Radio TT. We're going to have that program for maybe like about 2.20 to 3.20 and of course we'll be discussing health Mr Pastor Mante would, would, would be with me, sorry, during that program. So that's something that you could look forward to. To Miss Kati Samaru, you're very welcome. Mr. Sheldon, uh, how we pronounce that name, boy? M A R T Mata. Yeah. Josie Smith, Miss Marcia Lettrin, Sibylia Charles. Pleasant good afternoon to you guys. God take care and God bless. Bye bye.